Charlie Fellows will saddle both Vadrim and Etalab in Wednesday's 1895 Duke of York Clipper Logistics Stakes on the Knavesmire. Vadrim won the Group 3 Bengo Stakes at Ascot last season and rounded off her campaign by finishing fifth, beaten just three lengths, in the British. Champion sprint a fortnight later. Fellows expects his four-year-old to improve for her comeback run in the Group 2 feature on the opening day of York's Dante Festival, but is nevertheless anticipating a bold showing. Paisley Park to remain in training next season. Monday on Sky Sports Racing. Buick, more set to star at Windsor. He said, Vadrim had a really hard year in 2021, so she had a well-earned break over the winter. She looks a picture. Although this is not the end goal, she is ready to rock and roll and I would be really disappointed if we don't get a good performance. I just hope that she's able to jump out of the gates sharp and get a nice position, because at York I don't think you want to get too far back. But we've got Danny Tudhope on board who's very lucky for me and I am looking forward to seeing Vadrim back on a racetrack. A lack of race fitness will not be a problem for Etalab, who spent the winter in Dubai before making a successful return to Britain at Kempton in March. Dragon Symbol is first past the post in the Commonwealth Cup but Campanelle, near side, gets the race in the stewards' room. He was last seen finishing a close-up fifth when favourite for the sprint on all-weather championships finals day at Newcastle. Etalab has been running over the winter, is race fit and in great nick, fellows added. We were pleased with his run at Newcastle on a track that I don't think suits his running style. He likes to go forward, which will suit at York. I think. He'll run a big race. Other leading contenders for the Duke of York include the Owen Burroughs trained Minzal, Roger Varian's new recruit Dragon Symbol and Richard Hannon's high class. Philly Happy Romance. Dragon Symbol is first past the post in the Commonwealth Cup but Campanelle, near side, gets the race in the stewards room. A small but select field of five runners are set to go to post for the following Tattersall's Musadora Stakes, a key trial for next month's Kazoo Oaksat. The top two in the market are Emily Upjohn, who was a brilliant winner on her reappearance at Sandown for John and Thaddy Gosden, and Charlie Appleby's. Newberry Debit winner Life of Dreams. Aidan O'Brien's Irish Raider The Algarve, Ralph Beckett's course winner Luna Dorada and Ching Shi, a daughter of 2014 Musadora winner Madame Chang for David Simkic, complete the lineup, 